26 years ago, a young, quite successful actor, Kenneth Branagh, moved behind the camera for his version of Shakespeare's Henry V. And for the music of this historical drama, he turned to a composer with whom he had worked in the theater. It would be Patrick Doyle's first score for a feature film and the start of one of those unique collaborations between a composer and a filmmaker, since he and Branagh have been working together ever since. The man honored with this year's Lifetime Achievement Award is very much alive and still achieving. For his Cinderella, Patrick Doyle just got a nomination for Best Original Score. It marks his 11th collaboration with Kenneth Branagh. Together, they worked on William Shakespeare, they worked on Marvel Comics, and everything in between. Soon after Henry V, many other directors set their eyes and their ears on Patrick Doyle, and he has been working nonstop ever since in Britain, in Hollywood, in France. For blockbusters such as Harry Potter, or Pixar's animated Brave, for which he used the sounds of his native Scotland, or for more intimate fare by a variety of filmmakers such as Brian De Palma, Regis Warnier, Ang Lee, and the late, late Robert Altman. Patrick's score for Altman's Gosford Park won him his second World Soundtrack Award in 2002. His first was for Bridget Jones' Diary. Tonight, he will receive his third. The Lifetime Achievement Award of the World Soundtrack Academy goes to Mr. Patrick Doyle. To present the Lifetime Achievement Award, the man that has been the driving force of these concerts for the last 15 years, Dirk Rosset. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, dear Patrick. It's a real honor to say a couple of words uh, on behalf of the World Soundtrack Academy and the World Soundtrack World uh, family. Um, of course, you've, we've seen it. Patrick has had a, a wonderful career. He almost achieved everything that a composer can can. Uh, achieve. Um, but for me it's much more than rewarding him and awarding him for his fantastic artistry, but also because Patrick is a fantastic human being. I remember he went through very difficult times years ago and he was always fighting. He was always giving energy and power to other people. He is a person who is inspiring a lot of young composers, a lot of his colleagues, and for me it's much more this award that we give it to him. Uh, because of the most important thing is that probably the most important thing of a composer can achieve is leave a footprint, apart from all the Oscars and the Grammys and the BAFTAs that you all already won or hopefully will win in the past. Maybe the most important thing is the footprints we live in other people's minds and other people's hearts. And I think this is for me the most important reason why we give this award to Patrick, because his music will be in our minds, in our hearts, yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Please welcome Patrick on stage. Thank you very much to the, the Ghent Film Festival. Uh, it is extraordinary uh, to 
to be asked over here to this lovely place and to be surrounded with such great people. And, and I, I'm just completely overwhelmed by Dirk's lovely little um, tribute there. I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. And it is about the next generation. Um, it's about the next line of composers. And uh, you hope to do your best. And uh, the, uh, the, the chance to be here is, um, is a, a real honor, I, I can't tell you. Um, I, and I was talking to Paul Williams earlier about, about just being still in the business, still doing it. And it's crazy, it's up and down. But one story I heard, I don't know if it's true or not, if it, or if it's apocryphal, about Evan Berlin, who lived, I think, to be 102. Um, I think it was Steven Spielberg, the, his lawyer, asked um, uh, Evan Berlin's lawyer if he could use a song for a film he was doing. And Evan Berlin was 99. And the word came back from his lawyer, and he said, Evan's got plans for that song. <laughs> so I think that sums it up. If you've still got plans, you'll still be doing it. And um, that's, that's the best advice I can give to, to the next generation, um, is to, just to keep the plan going and to work as hard as you can. I've been very, very fortunate um, to work with some fantastic directors, some great people, and it's been... Sometimes it's been a bit of a madhouse, you know, the, the, the journey, but it's about, like tonight, spending some time with Alan Silvestri on the panel, um, you know, discussing our wars and tr trials, and, but still being able to laugh. And that's the thing, you know, you've got to keep it, just keep it light, as light as you possibly can. Um, these people are going to be, I heard them earlier today, this orchestra, phenomenal to, to hear them play, and, uh, and thank you very much for for inviting me along and, and for those lovely words and um, thank you so much and uh, good luck to everyone else in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick Doyle. Thank you.